Welcome to the Tea at Three with Gigi and Andrew. Guess who's back? Back again. Back again. <laughs> Andrew's back. Yes. He's not sick. I'm not sick. <laughs> yes. What's the... it like to be back to amongst the land of the living? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was an unexpected vacation. It was dreadful in its own right, but there were some pleasant moments. It was a staycation. Night. It was a staycation. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it was a stay right where you're at right. because yes. stand up for like 10 minutes and be like, you know, I'm kind of tired. Y'all know when worship is. You Eight know when Sunday school is. On Sundays. Yes. Um, 9.15. And Sunday school is 9.15. Um, so really glad y'all can join us. There's a lot of ticketed events at Ascension. Okay, well, since you're the ticket master, why don't you... Let's talk about it. Let's just let's, let's do this. Okay, so coming up, at the beginning of March, first whole week of March, you've got Tuesday, March 5th. Otherwise yes. known as, there's two names for it. Mardi Gras. And? Shrove Tuesday. Bam. Yes. Okay. So at Ascension, Test. we do Mardi Gras. Yes. It's $15 a person. Um, there's there's not any other, any way of, of going about it. It's $15 per person. It costs $15. It costs $15. <laughs> you have to get your tickets beforehand. All right. RC P's, aka ticket sales, are due this Sunday. Right. Yours truly will be in the foyer selling tickets after the 1030 service. Um, other volunteers, uh, Chrissy starts win, will be out at the table taking names down, but you know, I'll follow up with purchases and all that You've stuff. You gotta get get your money You've in. You gotta get it in. Because then that way when you get there, you don't have to worry about like, oh, I need a ticket. Do if they have enough food for me? I'm mailing you know, them out. I'm whatever. taking cards over the phone. Yeah. And that way, if you have the ticket in hand or you come through will call, you walk into You're the good. parish hall, sh- sh- done like the movie theater. You're good. Yeah. Okay. I mm-hmm. actually went to the movies this, this week with my friend Sandra. Nice. We had a good time. Went to Santa Bar. Yes. It was fancy, but we, we didn't order dinner. We ordered popcorn and candy. Next they ticket event, got to keep this rolling, oh. is Thursday, okay. March 7th, Vienna Boys Choir. Boom. So it's, it, you know, Ash Wednesday's in the middle, 7 in the morning, noon, and 7 p.m. Lots of cool stuff. Check it yes. out on the newsletter. But that Thursday, Vienna Boys Choir, $30 for an adult ticket, $20 yes. for a student ticket, $15 for a kid 12 and under. Okay? Okay. Big important thing. Very big. Very important. And I feel like I'm missing. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. Um, are you Otherwise. Gonna- Another ticketed event? Yes, another ticketed event. At the end of March, March 30th, Michael Battle, the very reverend, um, former canon to the ever popular and famous the Bishop Desmond Tutu. Mm-hmm. Um, he is coming to lead a workshop called Following Jesus Through a 20th, 21st Century Wilderness. Um, tickets are $10. It includes the workshop, a light continental breakfast, and uh, a box catered box lunch for nice. ten dollars. You can't beat it for you know a, mm-hmm. pretty much a whole day workshop. Um, that sounds awesome. It's going to be awesome. Come see me. You can get any of those tickets in the foyer this Sunday and next Sunday and the next Sunday. Um, love you all. And so just get it done. You can also go to our website at the very top. There's a little gray bar with all of those events where you can buy the tickets. Yes. So let's break for something else. And now for something completely different. No, for something completely. Yes. If you want to, put clappy hand applause. emojis applause. in the... Applause. Um, applause. Because, you know what? Emotions are not limited to the five choices Facebook gives you. Right, because, like, you know, emojis, like, are the new hieroglyph- hieroglyphics. Yes. But Facebook only gives you, like, five during a video. Which so you is not enough. Or comments. So use your, 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 whatever. Over there. Com- I think when people watch, it should be over here, right there. It's wherever it is. Yeah. <laughs> or they're at the bottom of your screen if you're or watching the, on a mobile yeah, device. on a mobile device, it's underneath. Go for it. Okay. So what else do we need to talk about? <laughs> Sunday um, school. I know we need to talk about school. Sunday school. We can talk about Sunday school. You want to talk? It's, it's, so this is fun, too. Expand your brain. Yes, Mama Jean. Go, Mama Jean. With Clap your or, emojis. Pelosi Club. Pelosi Club. <laughs> yes. All right. Sorry. So, 
The um, Searcher and Explorers class is at 9.15, and that's in the parish hall. Um, on Sunday, they'll be talking about Anglican identity. Sounds awesome. Sounds like great fun. And then on March 3rd, there's going to be the introduction to the Jesus movement. Um, that should be really interesting. So we're going to be talking about my, my, my dear friend, Michael Curry. And didn't you print out... And it's outside my office, The Way of Love. That's The Way of Love. Lent. Yes. The Way of Love is, is I think, a Pulse. little bit. It's hanging on my door. Oh, I don't want to rip that off. <laughs> all right. So, continuing to wing it all by myself. Um, so, it's going to be great fun. We're going to be talking about the um, the Jesus movement. And, and so, yes, we have a calendar Look for, for this. The Way of Love in Lent. Um, I guess we'll have to print some more now that we've, yeah. There are some in the youth room, so if you wander down there on Sunday and and you want one, then I'll happily give you one. Um, but anyways, um, also there'll be a video series with the Reverend Pat Wingo um, that's going to be um... video. <laughs> I was like, what is he doing? Video. Okay. Um, Pat Wingo will be presenting two short films that will lead to the question that what the question, what could it mean to let something die so that something else can take on new life? Um, the film is featuring Diana Butler Bass, who is wonderful. And also Barbara Brown Taylor, which basically is like the two awesome female theologians in the Episcopal church that both have three names. Yes. Is that something? Is that Apparently it's a thing. If, um, Diana Butler Bass, if you are watching, can you please comment as to why feminist theologians are, um, they have this thing with three names. I think it's cool. It's Trinitarian. It is very Trinitarian. Maybe. So that maybe you are, why? We don't know. Okay. I only have two names. And of course there's for, forum class and centering prayer. Yes. Which always happen like all the time, which is cool. All the times. Which is cool. Yeah. Wednesday night. Get ready to lose your mind about Parish Supper. Do you see what it is? Balsamic glazed meatloaf, yes. mashed potatoes, yes. green beans, yes. and mixed green salad yes. that includes walnuts, cranberries, and feta cheese. It is one of the best meal combos ever and actually prepared by julie teglis who does the lord's work julie made this meal for one of our visiting artists i can't remember i don't think it was shan i know it wasn't westminster boys choir but it was another professional ensemble was it vo the voters concert i don't know she made this meal for them and they were like we were kind of unsure about meatloaf until we started eating it and then my god that was the best meal we've ever had on tour <laughs> So, Westminster had um, that's high praise, like beef tenderloin and all that stuff. That sounds good. Which we are never privy to at Wednesday night dinner, but we don't get the cool stuff. But the meatloaf <laughs> is. So good. But they don't get the beef stroganoff lasagna either. So I mean, pork chops were good last night. The hash brown casserole thing was fabulous. Yes, I heard that was as good as like. You're turning into a Brian Jocks book. This is like Redwall Abbey. We're talking about the food. It's like, who cares about anything, anything else? We, we are like the, the food. foodies of, you know, we like we like food. Um, it's very Episcopalian in order yes. to share a meal with your friends. Yes. Food so, first. Food first. Food right. and first. It's biblical. It is biblical. <laughs> so the program afterwards, which is yes. related, is testimonials. Um, oh, excellent. Which has been really popular. So people get up. And, and, and us introverted Episcopalians don't like doing this, but they get up and they share how God and the Holy Spirit have acted in their lives. Yes. Pretty fabulous. Awesome. Um, let's see. Also coming up this Sunday is going to be the last of our uh, vestry listening sessions. Please pay attention at this moment on the two. The okay, last, again. say it one more time. Okay. Say it one more the, time. The last Sunday for the Vestry Listen Sessions is this upcoming Sunday. We've been doing it through all of the month of February um, during the, um, I think, after the 8 o'clock service and then also after the 1030 service. Um, so there's lots of opportunities to make your voice heard. And um, so if you have anything left to say, then, you know, speak now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
kind of on that note, there are going to be some upcoming updates to the Vestry page on our website. I know we list the minutes on the website. We recently posted those. But there's actually going to be an organization uh, chart on there. The Ooh, whole like page is going to get yeah, sort of, yeah. It, it's going to get some some new information in the coming weeks. Just I'm oh kind of busy. My tea is so good today, y'all. <laughs> I got Irish breakfast tea, and it's fabulous. I've never really had it. I have great. wild sweet orange in my new mug. Oh, from Townsend. From Townsend, which is the peaceful side of the Smokies, <laughs> because I went on the hike with the hike with the trekkers on Monday. Yeah, we had a wonderful time. We went to Middle Prong Trail. And I feel very much like one of those like hiking people that goes hiking all the time and like does those things. And, but I also hiked way too long because I was not experienced and I was out. wiped out for like two, three days. So we don't talk about that. <laughs> so Jerry Vreeland tagged along. You got some photos and if you yeah. check out our, our weekly newsletter this week, it's going to come out either this evening or in the morning. Mm -hmm. Um, depending on how fast I move. Um, You'll you'll see some photos from that. Yeah, um, we had a good time. It yeah, was great fun. A lot of fun times. And there will be a way to subscribe in that to their newsletter. Oh, cool. Um, they are going to be doing some tr some tricks coming up. Um, yes. Yes. Wednesday, March 6th. Yes. It's going to be Laurel Snow State Nat or Natural Area near mm -hmm. Dayton, Tennessee. And that's going to be a six-mile round-trip moderate hike. So, you know, beginning hikers like myself should probably – not go or do part or do part do of it part and then hang out that's true like i this is what i wish i had done is i wish that when i'd gone on that hike i wish i brought my hammock and like stopped Got off halfway and, and been like i'm good i'm good and just like hung out my hammock and waited for everybody to come back down yeah but i didn't do that because i'm not an experienced hiker but the once you go then you know better what to expect and how to prepare for the next one yes um so. we'll talk about the other ones later um, they're in your bulletin. They're in your bulletin. We talk about Ash Wednesday. Um, check out the Diocese Facebook page for the discernment retreat. That's all I'm going to say about that one because there's a lot of information on it. Yes. Should be good. Now, big thing. Um, man, I wish Betty Corey was hanging around, but she comes on Wednesdays, not Thursdays. Um, she's in charge of four-year groups. Yes. Four-year groups is this pleasant thing we have in the Episcopal Church where you get to go to a fellow's house. That sounds fun. And have a shared dinner. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times it's potluck. Um, and I love a good potluck. There are details in the weekly email that will be posted on how to get in on that action. Mm -hmm. And if you're part of that action, how it gets reshuffled. Yeah. So basically, if you're signed up for foyer groups, then you are a card. And you decide if you want your card to be in the deck for the reshuffle or mm -hmm. not in the deck. So yeah. um, follow up with Betty Corey if you would like to change your card status. Um. Yes. So now I would like to cover the children's news. We're going to move into kids and youth. Um, yes, safeguarding God's children. People have heard about that. Mm -hmm. However, coming up, date night, Friday. March 1st. March 1st. It's coming. 6 to 9 p.m. Abandoning your children at the church. Yes. But please bring, okay, so apparently we're supposed to make it this point. $5 per child for yes. a piece of money. Yes. Um, it helps, helpful. you know how finances work. You can mm -hmm. offset an expense by putting money towards it. That's a big, a big real yeah. help. Cause that is a significant part of date night. Everything Especially else when there's is a like, significant amount of pizza that's ordered. We're going to watch hotel Transylvania on Netflix. And it, uh, that doesn't cost anything, but yeah. you know, the staffing and the pizza do it does and cost. Yeah. That does cost. And so that helps. Right. And especially since this is something that we do fairly often, um, you know, it, there, there are costs. I just had an idea though. Oh no. You could work with Beverly Hutto or, or Beverly Sutton now. Sorry. Beverly Sutton. She's down the way. You can actually, um, Oh, speaking of, <laughs> did you not realize she could join? <laughs> I didn't notice. <laughs> um, you can talk to her and set up like maybe you're always bringing your kids you could just have a regular donation going on oh for yeah that. yeah like 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 if you go to every single wednesday i just learned about dinner, some of the regular you should donation do like a today. like a pass like a like a you know a date night pass. pass date night pass or you know wednesday night meal pass do you know? your date night season pass at the beginning of the year that's just a great idea that's actually kind of 
Oh, I think I like bulb. Uh, Sorry. I, I like the idea. Light bulb. Uh, like, ding. Uh, <laughs> and tweeds are going to be that time, too. So I'm going to yes. turn the floor over in these last few minutes to Madame Juju to Hi. talk about high school youth. Oh, we fun. We fun. Um, we always need dinner angels, so um, keep that kind of on your radar if you um, would like to prepare a meal or... Even if your only skill is cooking tuna casserole. And even if your only skill is, um, you know, picking up subs and bringing them to us, um, we accept that as well. Yeah, that's, a, that's actually really successful, too. Like some yeah, of those, those sandwich are popular. things. Mm -hmm. um, so coming up is um, New Beginnings number four. Um, yes. um, New Beginnings is a, um, it's a spiritual retreat for our middle schoolers. Sorry, your mom. I'm being funny with your mother. <sighs> <laughs> um, middle school. It's a retreat for middle schoolers, and that'll be at Grace Point, and um, it's going to be April fifth through the seventh. Um, the registration deadline is March thirty first, um, and that's going to be a good, a really fun event for our middle schoolers. Mm -hmm. So, um, if we have a, mm -hmm. a critical mass of middle schoolers that are going, I'll be there, um, and so I think it'll be a a great time. Yeah. And also coming up um, after we kind of get all of this kind of Lent stuff kind of started and, and, and going, then we're going to be doing a middle school girls reading club. Um, I've got a few dates picked out and I'm going to um, type up a calendar and a reading schedule and um, I'll send that out. You know, it's, it's on my list. Um, and um, it's on the to-do list. It's on the to-do list. Um, so we will be reading little women by Louisa May Alcott. Um, which is, of course, a classic. And um, this is at the request of our middle schoolers. They <laughs> um, are really excited about that. So um, they'll be meeting um, at 5.30 on Wednesdays right before middle school youth group. So um, they can just I'll have snacks and stuff so they can come hang out and kind of roll right into, into youth group. Um, and also, we um, I think we're actually good on youth volunteers for Mardi Gras. Um, okay. So cool on go. that. Um, and let's see what else is coming up. Um, oh, I am going to say this tomorrow before we, before we close tomorrow, if I remember, um, I might put a big sticky note up. There will be a short live video about some of the, um, new Linton resources on the track rack on um, out here in the hallway for stations of the cross. So um, you do live videos without me? Well, like the printing job and all that. And you have the ability to um, just little random pop-ups, pop-up videos. Yes, I know. Tis the work of the moment. Okay, I'd rather have a day off on Friday and not have to come in here. I, I, I love, I love, I love y'all. I love y'all. But I like a day off. Um, the youth will be serving on Saturday at the fish pantry. So if we have any youth that are interested in um, participating in that, um, then uh, feel free to um, shoot me an email send me a text, private message, whatever. Um, and I will um, make sure that you're signed up for that. We have a good group going, mainly middle schoolers. Um, but I think it's going to be fun. I'm actually really excited. Yes, it should be pretty good. I love the fish pantry. I like seeing Jim Wright's face light up. Because whenever <laughs> he's here, he's like, mm, you know, but then, when he get, but then when he's in his element at the fish pantry, boom, he's like a ray of sunshine. And I enjoy that man very much. So... Yes. I think that's all, right. all that we've got for right now. That's so it. Hope and you all have a wonderful have a great weekend, week. and we'll see you on Sunday. Bye.